good afternoon good afternoon students today we are going to discuss regarding the another topic that is quantum numbers associated with vector atomic model in the previous classes we discussed regarding bohr's atomic model sommerfeld model and also vector atomic model vector atomic model here in this vector atomic model today we are going to learn about the quantum numbers associated with vector atomic model actually the postulates of vector atomic model are space quantization and spinning of electron which is explained by stan gerlach experiment okay stan gerlach experiment proved that vector atomic model the postulates of vector atomic model so the vector the electron does not not only having the spinning of electron but also it has space quantization okay here the vector atomic model consists of seven principal quantum uh, seven quantum numbers in that we will discuss each and every quantum number in detail okay here the vector atomic model consists of what first one the principal or total quantum number small n represented by small n here okay this whatever the principal quantum number n each this quantum number belongs to the principal orbit to which the electron belongs okay and it will shows the size of the orbit the principal quantum number mainly represent the size of the orbit see whatever the quantum numbers here we are discussing they will uh, they will help to learn the atomic structure of the atom okay here the principal quantum number is used to uh, represent the what size mainly size of the atom here if you observe here the radius of the atom is represented by rn is equal to 0.529 n square angstroms here n is our quantum number okay so here n is equal to 1 2 3 so on they are integer numbers this can be represented by klmn shells here klmn the actually these are what orbit numbers orbit number first orbit number second orbit number third orbit number like that each and every orbit is represented by some letters called klmn so the principal quantum number mainly re, uh, used to represent the size here radius of the orbit rn is equal to 0.529 n square angstrom and also it will gives the energy of the electron in the particular orbit that is en is equal to minus 13.6 by n square electron volt these are the actually these are the main the, uh, these are the main concepts of what principal quantum number the principal quantum number explains the size of the orbit and also the elect the energy of the electron in the particular orbit and also it represents the particular shell okay klmn okay so like this we will explain the principal quantum number next we have orbital quantum number small l this orbital quantum number defines the shape of the orbital occupied by the electron okay this this quantum number defines what shape of the orbital occupied by the electron the orbital see actually there is a difference between orbit and orbital orbital is the uh, probability of the maximum number of electrons finding in the area maximum number the probability of finding the maximum number of electrons in a particular area called orbital orbit is different and orbital is different orbitals are like this okay they are square boxes okay orbit is a spherical or elliptical orbit okay the shape of the uh, orbit is what sphere or elliptical but what about the orbital they are represented by the square boxes here okay that is the difference the orbital is different and orbit is different okay here the orbital quantum number small l represent the shape of the orbital s p d f like that okay so if l is equal to 0 then it will show the s orbital and if s is l is equal to 1 it represent the p orbital like that we have orbital orbitals okay orbital quantum number l and due to this orbit orbital motion okay we have orbital angular momentum the electron will revolve around the orbit okay rotate so it will gives the orbital quantum number that is orbital quantum number 
the total angular momentum quantum number the total orbital angular momentum quantum number is represented by pl which is equal to under root under root l into l plus 1 h by 2 pi okay l into l plus 1 into h by 2 pi so like this we will explain the orbital quantum number l which only represents the what shape of the orbital and also gives the information regarding orbital angular momentum okay next we have spin quantum number s okay we know that the electron not only have orbital motion uh, orbit motion rotatory motion but also it has what spin motion it will rotate around the around its own axis okay that is called spin motion of the electron so it due to that we have spin quantum number s this quantum number has been introduced to account for the spin of the electrons about their own axis the magnitude is always plus half or minus half okay the whatever the whatever the uh, spin angular momentum spin momentum spin momentum is represented by ps is equal to under root s into s plus 1 h by 2 pi so like this we can explain the concept of what tot, uh, spin quantum number is next we have total angular quantum number total angular quantum number is represented by small j okay represented by small j here and here the total angular momentum num total angular momentum number is uh, this quantum number represents what the resultant angular momentum of the electron due to both orbital and spin motion okay the electron will have orbital motion and also spin motion so the total angular momentum is represented by j j is equal to sum of orbital angular momentum plus spin angular momentum okay orbital quantum number plus spin quantum number it can also be represented by j is equal to l plus or minus half here plus for one one direction rotation of uh, spin uh, spin of electron the minus for another anti clockwise direction okay like that we will explain the concept of total angular momentum total angular momentum j okay total angular momentum j and its momentum is represented by pj is equal to under root j into j plus 1 h by 2 pi next we have magnetic orbital quantum number ml okay this magnetic orbital quantum number ml is arised when the atom is placed in strong magnetic field okay strong magnetic field when an any atom is placed in a strong magnetic field okay due to that due to that what happens here the electrons with same values of n and the orbital number l may may differ may still differ in their behavior to account for one more quantum number that is ml known as magnetic orbital quantum number okay magnetic orbital quantum number here what is the magnetic orbital quantum number ml how it is arises because when an atom is placed in a strong magnetic field due to that there is some disturbance in the motion of orbital uh, motion of orbital okay there is some disturbance in the motion of orbital okay so like that the uh, magnetic orbital quantum number will be arises that is represented by ml so here ml ml see what is ml actually what is total what is magnetic orbital quantum number ml it is the projection of l see here if you observe this l okay when when the when the atom is placed in a magnetic field the orbital quantum number will be make some angle with the applied direction of magnet okay magnetic field it will make some angle here and it will be rotates about that magnetic axis okay the projection of the whatever the projection this projection of l the projection of l on this uh, axis that is represented by ml so the projection of l is our the projection of l is our what magnetic orbital quantum number ml so due to this magnetic uh, magnetic field the orbital the orbital will be moves in diff it will be the whatever the orbital motion will be splits here okay see the ml if l is equal to 3 if l is equal to 3 
then ml will have the values of how much it will have 2m 2l plus 1 values so 2 into 3 nothing but what 6 plus 1 7 values of ml nothing but what the electron will rotate like this or like in this orientation in this orientation like that we have seven orientations here okay if you see there are seven orientation the electron will rotate in this direction or in this direction or in this direction okay and also in this direction in this direction like that the electron the orbital of electron will be rotate in seven ways okay so like that we will get the orbital uh, magnetic orbital quantum number okay so like that we can know the split here according to this we can say that the there is a some splitting of whatever the spectral lines okay in normal in normal way when the atom is not placed any magnetic field then there will we will get only one spectral line but when when this when this atom is placed in a magnetic field the spectral one line will be split into other lines these are called what this effect is nothing but what Gman effect when any uh, atom is placed in magnetic field if the spectral lines are split into some multiple lines then that effect is nothing but what Gman effect okay and if, if the atom is placed in uh, ele electric field the splitting of spectral lines are nothing but what Stark effect so like this we can explain the concept of what uh, magnetic orbital quantum number next we have magnetic spin quantum number we know that uh, the electron will have orbital motion and also spin motion due to the spin motion the projection of s on magnetic field okay will gives what ms in the previous similar to that pre of previous case okay similar to that of the previous case here similarly here ms if you take if you take here ms okay the projection of s the projection of s upon the applied magnetic field will use the ms here here the difference between spin spin angular momentum and orbital angular magnetic orbital momentum is what so here the s will have only half value of half okay 2s plus 1 values so there is no value of 0 it the ms will be having the values from minus s to plus s so here we have only two values plus half and minus half because the uh, see the s will have only half half value okay plus half or minus half hence the ms values are from minus half to plus half so the rotation of the electron will be in the upward direction or downward direction okay the lines will be like this upward direction or downward direction okay there, there are only two possible values of ms okay next we have magnetic total angular momentum quantum number we we saw the magnetic orbital quantum number and also magnetic spin quantum number now the uh, the whatever the total angular momentum the magnetic total angular momentum quantum number nothing but what mj mj is nothing but what mj is equal to m a is equal to ms plus m l like that okay so here the projection of j the total angular momentum num quantum number already we saw here the total angular momentum the total angular momentum j so the projection of that j will gives the mj okay mj right T just now we saw uh, in the uh, here in orbital angular momentum magnetic orbital quantum number here we saw that there is a projection of l will gives ml the projection of j will gives mj here okay so the numerical value uh, is the projection of the total angular momentum vector j on the field direction and its values are 2j plus 1 mj can have 2j plus 1 values okay nothing but what if j having uh, 0 or plus or minus excluding 0 if you take 1 2 into 1 2 2 plus 1 3 so 3 orientations we have 3 orientations like that this is what magnetic total angular momentum quantum number like this the vector a uh, quantum numbers associated with the vector atomic model are 7 okay these will explain the behavior of electron in the atom okay it will gives the size of the orbit 
principal quantum number will gives the size of the orbit orbital quantum number will gives the shape of the orbital and spin quantum number will be explains the uh, what we, what we can say the rotation of the uh, electron around the axis of uh, axis okay orbital quantum number will explains the uh, revolution of electron around the orbit okay so total angular momentum will give the sum of the uh, spin and angular uh, orbital quantum number and magnetic orbital quantum number arises due to that atom when we when when we place an atom in the magnetic field similarly spin quantum number magnetic spin quantum number also due to magnetic field the total angular momentum is given by the sum of the orbital quantum number magnetic orbital quantum number and magnetic spin quantum number like that we have seven quantum numbers associated with vector atomic model which is very very important okay previously asked question so don't neglect this question very very important okay so i will send the notes just write down the notes and send me